While I have the microphone, I always like to talk, <laughs> because of course. And of course, I want to talk about Skix, because it's their birthday celebration tonight. Um, Skix is the greatest. Uh, we are marginalized in more ways than one. We're three letters of LGBTQ. I'm disabled, you know, we, we don't get as many opportunities as maybe a different world would allow us. So Skix is wonderful and Skix is always accommodating and is always giving a voice to those who might not otherwise have one. So please cheer for Skix. Uh, anyway, uh, it was a really cool experience uh, meeting Skix. I first met Skix uh, at Dreamscapes. Skix was building one of the rooms. Not the first Dreamscapes, or the current one, the second one that lasted for like a year uh, in the gateway. Uh, and it was really cool to see Skix building this thing, and I had no idea that there was this whole like outsider artist movement that Skix was putting together. Uh, and as a, as a slam poet, uh, I have often felt like an outsider artist, especially to the literary community who is like, videos don't count as publication. And I'm like, your literary journal nobody subscribes to does, though? Uh, cool. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I made Skix a bespoke, uh, handwritten, handbound uh, poetry book uh, for their birthday. And uh, I'm going to share the very two short poems that are in that book, and then one longer one. Uh, this, is the, this, is, this is the first poem that's in Skix's book. <clears throat> me, me, me. A capitalist love poem. Roses are five dollars! Violet are three! I hope they don't find out that romance is free. Hold on, hold on, there's a follow-up, there's a follow-up. Don't applaud yet, there's a follow-up. A communist love poem. <laughs> one rose for you. One rose for you. Everybody gets the one rose. They don't get two. Before I kind of wrap things up, I need to make words that will make you cry and might make me cry. We'll see. Tears are fun. Anyways, um, I moved to Utah in December of 2016. December 7th or 8th I got here. December 27th, I was assaulted and was sent to jail for a week because I wasn't the one who called the cops. I hermited myself and refused to do anything other than exist. And then in 2018, 17, 18 years, I auditioned for a place called Fear Factory. And there was a stunning man sitting in the room that scared the shit out of me. It's that one. I auditioned, I get my part, and as the years go by, this person who grew and evolved and found their own as I have found my own within the trans non-binary community became not only a friend, but a, a sibling in life and a partner in some sense. Um, not, you don't have to be romantically involved to be partners. Amen. Partners in crime, absolutely. Partners in gay crime, anyways. <laughs> Um, we became friends in the haunt community. This then transferred into friends in the art community, and I was given opportunities to build at Dreamscapes by this person. And then this person approaches me and says, hey, I'm thinking of doing a show all about weirdos. What do you say? Now, at this point, I had started to come out of my show. I was going to karaoke. I was performing at a haunted house. I was starting to break into the uh, burlesque community of all things, which when you go from being assaulted and sitting in jail considering all of your life choices to taking your clothes off in front of strangers, uh, there was a leap. And the person says, would you like to be a part of this show? I'm like, oh my God, yes. He says, okay, well, it's a weirdo show. Oh my God, yes. 
we've heard the story of the crepe. Uh, the opportunity I was given in that show catapulted my burlesque career into things I could have never imagined. I won an international award with the act that I created with a tan tank top with crepe written in Sharpie on it in a kiddie pool with Hershey's chocolate syrup and a can of very warm whipped cream. <laughs> and since then I have been in many gonzos. I have done things here at Alliance. We, we have done all kinds of things together. And the fact that this show has grown and you have built such a community around this show means a lot. You've, damn it. <laughs> Man, hormones suck. Um, you have created a space and a platform for people who don't get that opportunity. And for that, I say thank you. I could not be more honored to be a part of the Gonzo family and the Skixies Greater Shows family and the community outside of the theater that you have created. Happy birthday. And I love you.